Hey guys, I'm Cam and welcome to the Pop Arcade. We're doing something a little bit different today and we're unboxing something really cool. I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get going. This is HomePod Mini. HomePod Mini. All right, so the main things I do on this channel is anything to do with pop culture, anything to do with arcade machines, and anything to do with Apple devices. I am an Apple fanboy. I love anything to do with Apple. So I have something amazing to show you today. Something I've been looking forward to for quite a while. And I finally was able to buy one. I couldn't get it from Apple, I couldn't get one from JB Hi-Fi, I had to get one through Officeworks. So Officeworks finally delivered it, just now. Holy moly. Oh, I can't even open it. <laughs> Let's do things properly to start with. Check out what I've got here. HomePod Mini. I've been waiting for this for so long. HomePods give the best sound. I have two of the original HomePods already and they are awesome. So I couldn't wait to get myself a mini. I'm going to put the mini in my bedroom because I really need like a little speaker or something in there. So that's why I got myself a mini. Uh, but obviously the plan is to get a mini for every room in the house. Why not? You can never have enough HomePods. Never. All right. Whoa. Look how tiny this little thing is. Hey, little guy. Holy crap. That is so tiny. What else is in the box here? That's nothing. Cool. So the weird thing about this HomePod is it comes with a USB-C adapter and not straight into the wall like the bigger HomePods. Do we get any... Apple stickers? Yeah! Apple stickers. Oh, and they're stuck though. Yes! The best thing about buying Apple products is the stickers, obviously. Whoa, it's so tiny! Let's have a look at it. Up against the small one. Holy moly. It's summertime! <laughs> Can't play too much music on here. Otherwise I'll get flagged. Massive big daddy to the little baby. Let's get this set up and plugged in. So this HomePod Mini is powered by the powerful S5 chip. It doesn't have spatial awareness like the big uh, normal HomePod does. But it does give off amazing 360 sound just like this. Let's get it plugged in. Oh, it's got a nice little Apple logo on the bottom there. Oh, hello. Okay, would you like to set up your HomePod Mini? Set up. What room is it in? I'll put it in Cam's room because that's where it's going to be initially. Personal requests. Set up for everyone. Yes. Transfer settings. Yes. Okay, so now you need to centre the HomePod in the... Center of the picture there. It's setting up. It's done. Did you see that? Whoa. The awesome new display that it has on top of this light is so cool. So on this standard HomePod, it kind of just has just a tiny little it doesn't really show much on top, only when Siri's talking. So, hey Siri. And it's mm -hmm. oh, hello, goodbye. <laughs> so Bye for now. So Siri kind of has uh, a tiny little screen, 
So the screen on the HomePod Mini is like just a massive version of this one. More colors, um, it's really cool. Oh. Hey Siri. Oh, I should probably unplug one of them because they're both going at the moment. How are you today? I don't think it's Is your story part three by rapping? No. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's play some music. It's going to be a bit hard to test the HomePod because um, obviously I'm not allowed to play any music uh, <laughs> that isn't mine. So let's... <laughs> Sound. That's maximum volume. It's really cool. Awesome. The sound in here sounds awesome. Obviously, it doesn't have a uh, a, a dedicated subwoofer like this big HomePod does. Uh, but it still gives out amazing sound for something so small. That's awesome. It still has quite a good bass. Perfect for like a tiny little room or something. You can connect two of these uh, to an Apple TV or two of these together to create stereo sound, um, just like you can with the normal HomePods. Um, these, you can't use Dolby Atmos, unfortunately, with the HomePod Minis, but Dolby Atmos is available with your big, normal size HomePods. Um, so you can still connect these to your Apple TV just like normal, but obviously, yeah, Dolby Atmos is not supported. Um, but, oh my God, I'm so keen to have this in my bedroom. I won't need Dolby Atmos in my room, so that's cool. So the HomePods do come in white and black, but obviously I've gotten black. I really love the black ones. The white ones are beautiful, but I reckon they'll get dirty pretty quickly with anything you're doing. The best thing about these HomePod Minis is that you can talk to Siri and Siri can control anything in your house. So now I've got Siri operating in every room. So you go, hey Siri, what's the weather like today? It's currently clear and 27 degrees. Of course, my Apple Watch picks it up. Out of all my devices, the bloody Apple Watch picks it up. Just go away. Let's try that again. Hey Siri, what's the weather like today? It's currently clear in 27 degrees. Today's high will be 32 degrees and the low will be 24. All right, let's try this a third time because now the big HomePod picked it up. Hey Siri, what's the weather like today? It's currently clear in 27 degrees. Today's high will be 32 degrees and the low will be 24. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. What do you call a nose with no body? Nobody knows. <laughs> and the best thing about these is because they have so many microphones on there, they're always listening out for Hey Siri. So no matter how loud your music is, you'll always be able to hear you. All right guys, well that's about it for today. It's only a short little unboxing video. There's really not much to say about this speaker because it really just is like any other speaker, but with amazing audio. And there is only one downside to Apple products like these speakers. And the only downside about having these speakers is they are really dependent on Apple devices. So if you don't have an Apple ecosystem in your house, then these speakers aren't for you because they are solely dependent on you having an Apple ecosystem. But even if you just have a HomePod mini, these can act as a home base for your smart home. So you don't even have to have an iPad or an Apple TV or a big HomePod, you can just have a HomePod mini and this can be the sole bridge for your smart home. So that is one good option about this. So in Australia, the HomePod mini retails for $149, where this big boy retails for $450. So there is quite a huge price gap there. Thanks so much for watching guys. That's all I have to say about these HomePods. I can't wait to listen more to them. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys for the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you very shortly. Bye bye.